Oh. Good morning. Never mind, I'm leaving. Yeah. Oh, heck no. Yeah. You're yeah, not no. allowed. I, I'm going. It's, it's time for me to go away now. Oh, no, 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 oh, yeah. no. No, no, uh, but, no. Oh. No. <laughs> well, how many times, seriously, how many times do we have to have this discussion? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to. Hello oh, and welcome, goodness. guys, to another edition of the Morning Cup. Yes. My microphone went. <laughs> I, I see that. I, I just looked over and it went, yeah. <laughs> and it wasn't me. Apparently, hey. it's not excited to be here anymore. <laughs> I'm going to fix that. So, Renee's saying good morning. Mary's saying good morning. Morning, guys. Good morning. Uh, Dave is saying, hell, Murphy. Hell, Murphy. No. <laughs> You and better, man, or he's going to bend you over right huh? there. He does anyway. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. And I Carrie's Raven. Hi, Carrie. Hi. Oh, yeah. Oh. Jeez. Do we have, let's really? see. I'm going to check the YouTube really? side of things. Well, we got somebody over. Hi, YouTube people. Hello. Hi, Facebook <laughs> people. I'm flipping between windows here, so. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Yeah, and I'm not in the background, so I can't watch both. Back, what are you talking about? Off screen. Why would you be off screen? Uh, so I could read. The oh, you mean like and... the nightly news? Yes. 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 Welcome, Facebook glitches. At least it's working today. Uh, uh, shh. It's Murphy Monday, man. Uh, right. It doesn't matter if you're quiet or not. He will hear you, and he will have you grab your ankles. Yeah, that's. I'm pretty, just saying. Yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Um, Renee says it's a tired Monday microphone. Yes, it was. It just kind of went, yeah. I don't, I don't even know. I just, like, it never does that. No, like today, it's just like, uh. it's kind of like I feel like, uh. and, and let's see, um, today's title. Oh. <laughs> really? Really? What? Wow. Dude, you should have been a writer. What? Um, so I, I, we I, I, have Morning Cup of Miraculous and Morbid Meandering Monday. <laughs> One of these days, I'm going to run out of words that have the same first letter for each day. What? No, you're not. I'm like I'm like a walking thesaurus. Yeah, yeah you are. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. That's a book, not a monster. I was going with like the T-Rex thing. I, I, I kind of figured. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <clears throat> oh, no. I, yeah, I just, I don't know, man. Monday. Well, I wouldn't say Monday snuck up on me. I guess the weekend was kind of long because of 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 you. Of me. Yes, it was your fault. Uh, um, she waited until the last minute again for I the did. homework. I did. I did. And uh, one of them, I there was. I would have run into the same issues. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. If it, but. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, the teachers were like, where are the papers? <laughs> papers, please, papers. And she's like, no, I resist. And I'm like, no, but it's I, school. You have to give them the papers. I, okay, I've, uh, I have been <laughs> focusing on work, and then Saturday, I really needed a day off. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you know what? I will give you that, because it was... <laughs> <laughs> I really needed a day off. So, uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yep. Yeah, uh, YouTube says, good morning, y'all. Good morning. That would be Dave. The With other Dave. David? Uh, Dave Meacham. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 <laughs> see, that's the one thing that's nice <laughs> about me. Facebook versus YouTube. In Facebook, I, I know all of our peeps, man. I, I know you guys. You go over to over to YouTube and it's like, huh? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. We're just back and forth on this. I'll just leave yep. it over here. You yeah, got, you I've got, got Facebook, this so here. I'll leave you two over here so we can. Oh, we got two people over there. <laughs> I see you identify yourselves. Papers, please. <laughs> Uh, what? Oh. Uh, and uh, for those of you that uh, that have a keen eye, you may have noticed on our last several morning shows there was a small glitch in our uh, in our in our background, and we had a gap. We had a gap. We had a gap right right here below the lower thirds. There is a little tiny gap that we I were disappeared. I thought that was supposed to be there. No, <laughs> no. And then I noticed it, and I was like, "Oh, I gotta fix that." And then and then I was talking uh, to Dave, and and Dave 
was like, hey, hey, there's a gap. I was like, I know, no one should notice. No. <laughs> but there it was. I hate it when that happens. If that happens, you guys gotta let me know, man. That's just terrible. Yeah, but how are we supposed to let you know if we don't know that yeah. that's not supposed to be there? Well, come on, you're not supposed to be an air gap. We're not supposed to look like we're disconnected. <laughs> I mean, come on. Well, wait a minute. For controversy, you said it's where talking heads talk. Isn't that sort of yeah, I guess indicative? Could, you know, that would be kind of funny, just <laughs> Except it really wouldn't work because I'm I'm always laughing. Yeah, this is so I I'd, I'd constantly disappear. Well, not on, not on uh, controversy though. Well, um, at times I do. Yeah, I get the nervous giggle. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Council's gonna be so interesting. I know, just like like the most serious thing in the world, and everyone's all blah, and all of a sudden you're gonna start cackling in a corner, and everyone's gonna look at you like, what the? <laughs> <laughs> and it, and it's not because I find it funny. It's just I get nervous, and that's my that's your go to. That's my go to. I I get a nervous giggle. Yeah, I, and I it's, did. It's that. rather humorous. <laughs> it is, it is, and it's rather embarrassing. Um, I remember doing the interview for the radio show uh, when when we were getting ready for the preliminary elections oh, or the primary, gotcha. the primary. <coughs> and um, I, yep, <laughs> I've heard you on they, the phone with serious interviews. I've been with you in person with serious interviews. And the laughter ensues. It, yes. It's just there, man. Yes. I don't even... It's like... What? <laughs> like and, and in my head, I'm just like... Shh. <laughs> but I mean, See, you can't and, really do that in front of somebody. And in it's my like, head... Just reach I'm, over and be like... <laughs> Shh. <laughs> and in my head, I'm the same way. But I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so is it? So is that why you laugh so much in the morning show? Are you nervous to talk to our poor viewers out there? Uh, no, no. Are you the guy's, morning show now? She's nervous. Oh, no. We can't have <laughs> No, no. I find the morning show humorous. Well, that's good. So it's yeah. better than nervous, I guess. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah. That is not my nervous laugh. No. It is. It is my. Yeah, but yeah, it I'm sounds like, so. Similar. I I know, but I I feel the difference. <laughs> All right. All right. I guess I give you that. I don't know, man. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh. I don't want to say it, but I should. Oh. Because if they fix Your it. Facebook just crashed. You know, <laughs> Facebook <laughs> needs to take a freaking long walk on a short pier and then blow don't reload, the heck don't reload. up. I'm not. I was just looking at it. Go away. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, uh, Facebook blew up, but we're still broadcasting. Uh, yes. If yes. we do disappear, please jump on over to YouTube because Facebook's. This fuck's having a day. Oh, wait, it always has a day. <laughs> oh, that is so friggin' annoying. It is, it is. It's, yeah, and you guys have no idea what we're talking about. We we have this special login when we when we do a live broadcast, and it goes to that so we can see the stuff. It's the one that always lags out and doesn't have the comments like it's supposed to, and it's all buggy as heck. And as of late, it's been deciding to crash the window. Apparently, we're still broadcasting, but the window that actually runs it is like, <laughs> and yeah. it just stops working. It's like, wait. And that's ah. Facebook's thing, right? That's not... No, that's it, totally Facebook. Yep. <laughs> and it's, it's related to the Facebook thing where we try and go live on Facebook with our broadcasting software, and it's like, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, so you mean the reason you, you had to do at least two broadcasts with uh, phone as well. Yeah, where we did a morning show, and now we've done a news, a nightly news. It's like, what the... Ugh, so annoying. So, um, Renee is saying, you're still here. Yay! Thank you. And Dave says, I can only, uh, only hope you laugh like that while on council. Gonna love that. <laughs> it's gonna be it's pretty easy. funny. It, it's gonna be interesting. It, it really is. <laughs> morning would not be morning without Lois's. Yeah, that, yeah without yeah. Lois's cackle. You know what? You got a point. That was from YouTube, by the way. <laughs> so I, I don't know, man. I just uh, some some days is this. That, you know, technology is a wonderful thing when it works properly. When it doesn't, it's just like, you know, <laughs> just, oh, you got one job. <laughs> Seriously, one freeing job. Why can't you just work? I just, ugh. It's so frustrating to well, me. Well, if it doesn't work, well, if it does work, then that means all the techs are out of business. 
All the what? All the techies are are out of out of a job. Oh, yeah. they have to give them something to do. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess I'll give you that. <laughs> I don't know. Man. I don't know. <coughs> so one of the things, if you guys didn't know, obviously we're broadcasting both on Facebook and on YouTube. And uh, well, with the YouTube side of things, you know, as you guys know, the the struggle for sponsors is real. And uh, well, one of the things that's cool about YouTube. Obviously, is that whole monetization thing, <laughs> and it, it's not actually that cool because you need like a million views on a, on a video to get like a dollar. <laughs> <laughs> but there's other things that YouTube has that, that they can turn on and off and stuff. But to have that work, we need to have a thousand subscribers. We need to have four thousand hours of watch time and all kinds of stuff. So anytime you're bored, ho, oh, go on over to YouTube and just let it play in the background. <laughs> <laughs> That's epic. Because we got our stuff over there too. Right? Dave what? says, "Good thing, uh, good thing is you are broadcasting from an external server. As long as they don't crash the Facebook connection, you are good." Yeah, the connection <laughs> stays live, but the interface for it's like, "Where <laughs> 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 did he go, George?" Like, not I'm... that way, dummy. Get back <laughs> over here. <laughs> oy, oy, oy. Yeah, it's... Yeah. Oh my goodness! I'm telling you, you know. <laughs> anyway. Ah, anyway. No, 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 no. So we did some interesting things. Uh, we we covered our first sports event. Was oh, it Friday? We did. Or was it? I don't remember. Um, that was Friday. Was it Friday? It was Friday. Are you sure it was Friday? Positive. Okay. So we covered our first sports event. We would love to cover more sports events, like you know, I don't know, football or whatever it is that you basketball guys like. Yeah, and basketball. Yeah, basketball. Whatever you guys like to watch. Unfortunately, with just the two of us and with all of the other stuff we're doing and the fact that we have, you know, zero funds, well, we can only cover as much as we can cover. So I'm just kind of throwing that out there. We would like to do these things, but to do it, we got to be able to pay the bills. And since we're still not quite making that, eh, it'll happen eventually. <laughs> we got to hire some extra people and all of that. Yes. Which, you know, mm-hmm. Most definitely. But Wait. either way, anyway, uh, it was uh, the Lake Powell Cross Country Invitational. Yes, it was. And it was over wow. in the Lake Powell National Golf Course. <laughs> Holy crow, you actually remember. Broadcast by Lake Powell News Network. Yes, everything <laughs> is Lake Powell something. That's why we like abbreviating LPNN. Because it sounds more like CNN, except without the twisted bias. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> or, or, or what, what are they? There's so many of those. Uh, there are. Or C-SPAN or... Mm-hmm. No, because it's C-N-N or L-P-N-N. <laughs> Come on, it's fun. It is. It but anyway, is. yeah, we, we covered that. That was... Uh, it was it was interesting. Um, we got people running around on the, on the golf course, and yeah, that was yeah. kind of neat. It was, it was. And uh, people seemed to uh, seem to like watching it. We got quite a few reactions and comments out of that thing. Which well, was yeah, cool. it, it is really cool. And, you know, it, it's our local sports, yep. um, our local school sports. Go Devils! It, right, and Panthers. Because I thought it was the middle school was there, too. The oh. middle school is Oh, Panthers. yeah, that's right. Okay. All right. <laughs> I thought they were Devils. They're all Devils! Let's start them all! Christ compels you. <laughs> oh Wait, my goodness! You. Uh, wait a that's minute. How we get here. the giggles out of yeah. you? Oh no! <laughs> You're an old priest and a young priest. The no, power of Christ compels you. It tickles. <laughs> So you're not going to burst into flames is what you're telling nope, me. Nope, nope. Okay. I'm just going to giggle more. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, that was an interesting experience. We were out there for over three hours covering yeah. stuff, and then we finally had to wrap it up and go home because we had stuff to do. <laughs> you know, like Excuse trying me. to figure out how to how to make some money. Speed of it. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh yeah. no. Is it I, time? I knew it was going somewhere. Is it time? <laughs> <laughs> you're either a member of the network or an enemy of the network. Show your loyalty. Purchase LPNN the shirt or LPNN the premium shirt at Amazon.com. Show your loyalty to your to your friends and your enemies alike. Uh, what? A- anything else? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's Monday. I know. It's I gotta Monday. have to work up to it, man. <laughs> <laughs> So Dave says, wait, sports coverage with non-sports savvy commentary or really biased commentary toward our local teams? Um, neither, actually. There was no commentary. I was just like, hey, this is who we are. This is where we're at. This is what we're doing. Look. And it, then I'd it, hold up the camera. Even the sports are unbiased. I know. I'm like, I don't know. Because I'm not really a big sports guy. It's not like my thing, you know? I mean, 
to each their own. But, you know, I, I would rather be, uh, you know, like hunting, shooting, backpacking and things like that. And, uh, you know, that, that's kind of my thing. Right. But with the sports, I don't know. And then, <laughs> you know. We had, we had an interesting time trying to figure out where the start and finish lines were. Like, okay, that that uh, that's the start line, yeah. And then we had to go wander around <laughs> and try and, and find the end line, the finish line, and in the middle of it, we almost got run over. Uh, yeah. And I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> like video cards, oh, oh, don't run me over. <laughs> and, and, and I think they would frown on it if I hit somebody with my tripod that was I, in the contest. I, so. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was interesting. Um, the pathway down to the finish line was the track to, <laughs> to yeah, was, that side across of the, the street and kind of went out there. And I'm like, where are you going? <laughs> and then I walked back. And it wasn't like I mean, I guess if you're actually in the race and you've done it before, then it makes perfect sense. But if you're out, you know, from the outside looking in, it's like, huh, where are you going? <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah. yeah. Um, Which I definitely unbiased, but the thing is, like, I don't know how entertaining it would be. Like, if I went out to, say, cover a football game, and I, you know, and I was covering everything that was going on, you know, I don't know what the hell is going on. Like, that guy's running that way. Oh, that was a usually, good thing, you know. Usually I mean? at those games, they have their own commentators. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh, that makes it easier. So. <laughs> Like, I don't know what's going on, but the yeah. ball went there, and that guy is toast, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to get on some of that action. But, mm. <laughs> so, yeah, typically at um, the the ball games, they will have a commentator. Um, I, I At least in my experience. Okay. And, well, maybe they have that here. And I remember um, when I was on the swim team, we had our own commentator as well oh. to let everybody well, know. Well, that would make it a bunch easier. It but would. either way, that's always down in the future. Now, what I could see is LPNN, like, I don't know, sniper training coverage. Oh, no. You know, you could get down on, you know, with the camera really close. You could have the scope lined up. The wind is moving approximately two miles to the west. Two miles an hour to the west. Uh, we're going to have to move two clicks to the right to compensate for the bullet drop over 500 yards. <laughs> I mean, come so on. You, that would be fun. So, you, you, okay, so <laughs> your, your, your sniper competition would be golf. Uh, no, Just with that commentary. Okay, no. <laughs> You've now ruined an entire industry for me, Lois. I came up with a new sport. Apparently, golf is the closest to go. Well, you were whispering. You're talking about the wind speed. That's golf. Yeah, but you can't see the bullet unless you're using a tracer. And if you're using a tracer, you probably shouldn't be sniping. Just say it, because they'll be like, oh, there it came from right there. With golf, you know, they're, they're, I guess they're doing that, and then they hit the ball, and then the, and then the camera follows it, and oh, you see a sky. It's the Robin Williams thing. I remember seeing yeah, that. Yeah, that's where he, pretty much. Yeah, it is a... Have you, you've never watched golf on TV, have you? Why the hell? <laughs> I mean, to each their own curiosity. if you want to watch golf, but to me, a sniper competition, they actually have those shows on TV. I've seen them before. Uh, yeah, they're the... the they're the shoot shoot competitions. Well, no, I mean, they, they actually have some shows that are based around it. But anyway, <laughs> I thought it would be more interesting. So Dave that is way. saying that would be the best commentary. Those watching know all the lingo and stats. A little humor <laughs> would be so much fun for those games. <laughs> yeah, oh man. <laughs> Could be interesting. And then, uh, well, apparently... We talked about this last week. Apparently, our very own Sand Devils, the football team people, completely annihilated another team. I mean, oh. we're not talking just like they beat him or it was a closeout. Man, they stomped them into a bloody, oily mess <laughs> into the ground and then buried them, lit it on fire, and then salted the earth. It was just done. <laughs> and uh, good on you. That's how you're supposed to do it. <laughs> I'm just saying. You know, if you're going to defeat somebody, leave no question in anybody's mind. You suck, and now you're dead, and no one will ever remember you. <laughs> just See, now, now what's really funny about that is... Uh, out of all of my years watching sports and every once in a while following sports, mm -hmm. um, I have yet, other than basketball, uh -huh. 
have yet to see any other sport uh-huh. where you have triple digits. Oh yeah, that was from amazing. from a single team. Yeah, but not only that, not only was it triple digits. The other ones got squat. <laughs> I mean, not even, not even, it just nothing. I mean, they never recovered. I mean, that is the way to do it. You go in there, you is. just destroy them. They have no chance. <laughs> and, oh, it, it was it was a beautiful thing. It, you know, I mean, like I said, I'm not a huge sports fan, but I could get behind something like that. Because <laughs> you just sit there like, oh, man, how bad is it going to be? Because you know the other guys are screwed. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just keep driving. And, and, <clears throat> eventually they'll be like, oh, oh we give up. <laughs> And if not, you just keep pounding them until they just disappear. <laughs> and that's what they did. It was amazing. So congratulations, uh, Paige Sando. Yes, yes. Um, <coughs> Renee says, um, nope. I would rather watch the inside of my eyeballs than watch golf. See? <laughs> I, I was there. See, but, you know... Uh, Looking through the reticle of his scope is far more entertaining than watching a white ball get whacked around on grass. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> But... But when when you're talking, or when we're talking about covering something like that, mm-hmm. I I envision a happy Gilmore thing. <laughs> I got a better one for you. I got a better one. I just came up with a whole new sport. Uh-oh. I came up with a new sport. Oh, no. We're going to call it Sniper Pool, where you have a sniper in the distance shooting at a golf ball on a golf course, trying to knock that golf ball into a hole using... His rounds downrange. Oh, no. I think that would be epically entertaining. Oh, actually, you and Dave are on the same wavelength. You uh, just posted that. What? What you just said. Uh, oh, uh, well, that, uh, let's see. He says, if you want to make golf more enjoyable to watch, set up a hunter to snipe the ball. Nice. See, that's the same. Yeah, we're on the same wavelength. Uh, didn't I not just I say like it? <laughs> but you got to read the comment. Oh, come on. I, I, I think that would be <laughs> epic. <laughs> How much fun would that be? Oh, I can't even imagine. You get the little flags out there to judge the wind distance. You got to have a spotter up there. You get the camera looking. I mean, come on. It would be amazing. And God forbid the rabbits get in the way because that's going to be a bloody mess. <laughs> but hey, you know, you can make that part of the show as well. That could be the barbecue lunch. Oh, no. <laughs> No. They're cute, but they're very tasty. I, I, no. I, I, I think somebody from a government de- <laughs> department would, would have issue with that. Um, <laughs> um, Gina says, low sounds like Betty Rubble. <laughs> um, Diana's saying, golf is relaxing to watch when you are dead to the world. <laughs> oh. Renee says uh, Happy Gilmore type golf would be epic. Yeah, that would be pretty fun. But, it, it but there be. was only one dude. You'd have to get a whole team of people out there with hockey sticks or whatever. Like, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then if you get a bit where they where they throw down and they start beating the crap out of each other yeah. on the ninth oh. hole. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, so yeah, get getting in tight. And maybe we could get the um, coyotes up here. <laughs> so well, I was thinking what you could do is you know if you wanted to make it entertaining, so you got the Happy Gilmore thing. <laughs> And then halfway through the course, I, the, the fact that I know this is horrifying, but apparently <laughs> apparently there's 18 holes, and so nine is the middle. Well, what you do is you have to cross-train for golfing and MMA. And on the ninth hole, you got an octagon where people get in there, oh my. and they beat the tar out of each other before they continue on the match. I mean, it's like a halftime show. Wow. It'd be fun. Wow. <laughs> that's, how you, that's how you fix it. <laughs> okay, so... Renee says gators in the water trap. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and Dave, danger, danger, danger. Oh, too soon? Too soon? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Dave says, hey, it's my turn to use that brain cell. Give it back, you get no, it No, it's mine. You can't have it. It's mine. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh. It's laser focus is not as diluted today, apparently. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. I Great swear bowl. the two of you were uh, cut from the same cloth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it was probably mm. a tartan of some kind. I don't know. Uh, oh, <laughs> Diana says, or wrestle a gator. Or, ooh, I like that. That You know what? That's got potential for some serious danger. I like that. <laughs> I'd pay to see it. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, that would be epic. <laughs> 
<laughs> Mark just said to you, I'll stay at home. You'll just stay at home. I'll stay at home and handle the comments. Oh, come on. <laughs> Man, we can get into this stuff. This could be interesting. We could start a whole new industry. Oh, what, Gator Wrestling on the 9th? Yeah, I'll either that or the MMA. I kind of like the <laughs> MMA, though. And that's a little more practical, because I think you're talking about government agencies and stuff. I don't know if they'd let us, you know, we have to import the Gators, then we'd have to wrestle them, and I don't know. They, they, they'd probably frown on that. Some kind of safety issue. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, know. goodness gracious. What? <laughs> So I could see you having your MMA thing on the ninth, and then wherever the water um, water trap is, that's when you have to uh, wrestle the gator so you can move on to the next yeah, hole. Pretty much, yeah. And so depending on how long it takes you, that's your score for the hole. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can do that. Or, you know what, where I was talking about, you can have the octagon. You can put the octagon in the water so they actually have to fight while they're in the water to make it more difficult. While wrestling gators. Or dodging gators while trying to fight your opponent. Yeah. And oh, we can put laser beams I on their heads. I knew you were going there. We can put lasers on their heads. Come on. Oh. It's a whole new sport, man. I'm kidding. Yeah. You. you think gladiator games are fun? Look at this. Woo. And it's just golf. Yeah. <laughs> Just golf, she says. No, no, oh. man. This is the Hunger Games version of golf, right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let's do it. Oh goodness gracious! So, wait, I was on. I was on to something, and then we got, you were. You I got sidetracked <laughs> with sports. Yeah, go figure. My version of sports. <laughs> See, I tell people they don't like sports, but if you make it. Interesting. If you got some skin in the game, is it where? You know, like, come on! <laughs> I definitely watch that. Oh, why not? Oh, so, oh! oh Diana oh, no. says, "So what happens in the sand trap, snakes?" <laughs> I like where you're going with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, and we oh. could, we could, we could, you know, we could call it the shy halud for those of you that know, know, um, you know, and and they could have the great sandworms. It would be amazing. Is that from Dune? Wow, look at that. <laughs> yeah, wow. Well, Noah's got a dune joke. Oh my what goodness. are the odds? Very <laughs> low. Shy <laughs> Hanout. Oh. Mau Deep. Oh. But anyway, yeah, you could do something along those lines with it. Yeah, that, that could be interesting. Dave says the possibilities are endless. I know. And Gina says the visual is amazing. <laughs> Which visual? I don't know. I don't know, but I, I'm going with it. all of it. <laughs> oh. I created me. a whole new industry <laughs> in 20 minutes. Or, or oh. well, five minutes, however oh. long it's taken. I mean, come on, it's not that hard. Let's do this. So, so what you're saying <laughs> is the X Games, which, which were shortened down from Extreme. Okay, the Extreme right. Sports. This, this is the true. Yeah, extreme. I was gonna say if you're gonna call it Extreme, let's get this stuff on the road. <laughs> there you got you got the Hunger Games, you got Fear Factor, you got oh. everything all tossed into one, man. Oh, it's our, gonna be bloody. It's gonna be brutal. It's gonna be exciting. Yeah. Our audience is on the same wavelength mm. uh, with each other. Renee and <clears throat> Gina are both asking, "Well, what about tremors?" Yeah. <laughs> all right, all right. I like it. That's good. Less oh. obscure but exciting. I like it. Dave you guys are says, on. Dave says, "Remove the sand and make it a pit of snakes, like Indiana Jones." Hey, yeah. <laughs> See, we, there's so many possibilities here. Oh my goodness! You know, come up with official oh. obstacles. <laughs> it could be interesting. <laughs> you know, what was? Isn't there like some kind of game where it's like like wannabe ninjas or something that have to run an obstacle course? I have no idea. I, I, I saw something about that and I watched an episode and I was like. <laughs> But you could make it more exciting, you know. I'm just saying. Oh, oh, I think I know what you're talking about. And yeah, it, um, uh, uh, I I can't remember the name of the show. Uh -huh. But uh, yeah. I, I think I saw an ad could. for it at some point on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> and Gina's saying the visual in my mind. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. You know what? I'm telling you, it could be very exciting. Uh, yeah. And then, and then, you know, the whole thing is, you know, it's survival of the fittest, that whole kind of thing, right? Which uh, which brings me back around full circle to the shutout uh, the other day where where our, our football team destroyed the enemy. Good on you. <laughs> <clears throat> Don't mess around, man. Oh my goodness. So uh, there was there was apparently apparently some hubbub. Uh, uh, yeah. Apparently apparently some news because 
Because because the other team lost so badly it wasn't fair. <laughs> you suck. Practice more, work harder. Maybe next time you won't get a shout out. Just and, saying. I, I did I did um um see some things about that. What? Uh, um uh, about the other team talking, you know, talking about their loss, huh? and um, they were what, makes it, <laughs> it wasn't what makes fair. it even worse is, according to the article I was reading, yes. um, the the coaches here mm -hmm. had said, but we did use our second string. Oh yeah, you guys suck. <laughs> you know what a second string is? Yes, I do. Oh, oh! <laughs> they called the, they called the bench warmers up and said, "Okay, you guys get to play this game." Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that that was and they still it. annihilated you, <laughs> and so you all had the same opportunities to get good grades, so you could play to practice, so that you could play better and harder and work against the other teams. You didn't do it. You didn't put in the work. Whose fault is that? It's not the team that kicked your. Flying peepers. <laughs> nope. You got your stuff punched into the dirt because you didn't do the work. And there are no participation trophies yet in football, apparently, so... <laughs> <laughs> Practice or die! <laughs> that should be enough of an embarrassment for you to rethink your life. Okay, so I, I oh. was wrong. It was It's worse than the second string. Oh. Um, so before I get into that, Dave says, Love that show, uh, Takeshi's Castle. I, I don't yeah. know. And uh, Dave says they subbed everyone, including the JV, fully on offense and defense. And the other team still got their butts kicked. That means you suck so bad that all of the backup players kicked your butt, which means you didn't put in the work. Next time, maybe you should. You don't just show up to a fucking game like that. I thought it was kind of a, a baby. <laughs> But seriously, <laughs> it made, what was it? Wasn't it like ABC News or something like yeah, that? Yeah, ABC 15. That they were whining and everyone was like, it wasn't fair. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Do the work or stay home. What did you expect? And I saw some of the excuses. They're like, well, some of our best players got bad grades, so they couldn't play. Well, tough cookies, man. Have them get good grades so they can do the thing or they don't get to play. That's how it works. That's why they have that rule there. <laughs> Dave's bleeping you. <laughs> <Thank> you. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's a big deal. It's like you don't get the pass if you, you just do the work. Pretty much. You know, and I'm so glad that they got that, that hardcore annihilated, you know, to show them. You know, it's not, it, you just need to work more. You got to do the work. Obviously, they didn't do the work. And they lost. I mean, that happens. You know, in closer games, well, it's it's over. It's about skill. It's about this. Well, these guys barely didn't do squat. <laughs> what are they saying? Bleep. Thank you. <laughs> and Dave says, so you suck and are stupid. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Only, you know what? Only because, uh, nor, you know, normally it's like, oh, yeah, it was a close game. It was this or that. And like I said, it's based on skill or this or that. But with that level of a shutout, and then... The reason I'm having a good old time with you is because you went to a news station and whined about it, saying, it's not fair. Now, if you would have instead taken that loss and gone back and worked a thousand times harder than you did before so you could come back, well, guess what? That's awesome. But since you went out there and were like, oh, oh, I want my trophy, blah, blah, blah. Shut up. <laughs> So Gina says there's no crying in football. Yeah, pretty much. I love that movie. <laughs> so do I. <laughs> Ain't no crying in football. Uh, baseball. I know. Okay. She said football. Uh, yes. I was going with football. <laughs> but that was immediately after yes. you said, I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then I was uh, projecting it out for the thing. But yeah, that's the only reason I have an issue with it. Like I said, if they would have gone back and they would have worked harder and they would have tried to do that and everything... They went to a news outlet and whined about it, saying it wasn't fair. What is wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> they 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 obviously missed um, the the uh, based on a true story movie Rudy. Oh, I saw that many yeah. many years ago. Yeah. 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 yeah, see, not big into sports, not big into, but that one was I think if I remember was a pretty good. There was another one that had Wahlberg in it. I don't, Mark Wahlberg. <gasps> oh. 
I watched that one. That one was pretty good. I don't remember, I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one, but mm. I do remember Rudy, and it's pretty much ultimately the same thing. What it was. You need good, good grades and perseverance. Pretty much. Yeah. And then, and no like, whining. My my <laughs> biggest issue <laughs> with the whole I have nothing. There is absolutely nothing wrong with losing because it's a learning experience. Yes. It shows you what you did. Shows you what you need to do to improve, which is awesome. I mean, without losses, you don't learn anything. If you don't lose, if you don't fail, you can't learn and move on. And the more you fail, the more you learn so that, hey, I shouldn't do that next time. But when you lose and then you whine about it, it's like, what? I thought the whole point of college foot or not college, but high school football, I guess college too, or anyway, is to, sports. Yeah, sports in general. <laughs> you learn teamwork, you learn competition, you learn how to take a hit. Yeah, I mean... It's all kinds of things that are involved in that process, and whining to your news station about it is not really learning, it's whining. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Take responsibility for your actions. If you got shut out that much, that means you didn't do the work. So next time, you should do the work, not go, <laughs> <laughs> It seemed pretty straightforward. I, I don't know. <laughs> Renee says, here's your participation ribbon. No. <laughs> All participation <laughs> trophies should be stripped from their positions of honor and melted down. Just saying. <laughs> melted down, burned, whatever it is. I just know. Oh, I was thinking um, and, and recycled into casings for your version of golf. I like it. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Diana says, sounds like the political climate. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Not, not happening, guys. Not happening. So anyway, yeah, we wanted to talk about that because it was kind of funny that they're like, See, now, when, when I was in school, what we would do is we would, um, if either team was winning like that, I mean, that much of, of a They have like a mercy rule or something. They did, but they gave the other team the option. Like, hey, you guys can bow out now uh, yeah. or continue to get annihilated. And pretty much. You know, and, 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 and most schools, you know, would, all right, yeah, we, we, we. Yeah, but then you're cheating the team that's kicking your butt of getting out on the field and getting more experience and kicking butt. <laughs> what? But if you have a team that's kicking butt like that. Yeah, but they, they managed to get out the second string and the third string or whatever and put all the players, the poor and the guys. And varsity. Yeah. This was a varsity game. <laughs> the, the poor guys that never get to play got a chance to go on the field. If the other guys would have forfeited, none of those guys could have played. <laughs> Just Dave's saying uh, those trophies should be reformed into a single first place trophy. <laughs> there you go, there you go. I like it. I like it. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god. So, yeah. Anyway, that is my view on the world. If you don't like it, I don't care. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, get in the shirt. Show your loyalty to me. <laughs> Hey, Groovers! What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I, I just had to throw that out there. <laughs> well, um, I, I want to bring something up uh, since we were talking about the political climate. Oh. Okay. Um, it, it's in one of one of my things. Oh, no, we're actually it, moving to the list. We are. Oh. No, and no, unfortunately, it is not second from the bottom. I had something else yeah. planned for second from the bottom. But I got we sidetracked. brought up, yeah, you got sidetracked, and our fans brought up uh, the political c climate. No. Um, this one is only the headline. Only and the headline. Only the headline. All right. That one right there. Oh, it says, OMG, the headline. Lots of exclamation points. <laughs> is this pretty good, Lois? Uh, it, mm, yeah. It, 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 it encompasses so many things. <laughs> <laughs> for you guys. This is amazing. You know, and it goes with our, our constant talking about um, about this particular place, uh, California Stan. We are once again back in California Stan. <laughs> yes, yes. No, no. This is terrible. So here's your headline for you. San Francisco dubbed doo-doo capital of the country amid spike in waste complaints. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I've been reading a lot, or seen a lot of these articles come across my thing that apparently 
People are just crapping in the streets out there. They are. On the sidewalks, in the streets, they're peeing and pooping everywhere. Yeah. You know what? Maybe take a lesson from France and put the little porta potties that are in planters or something. <laughs> <laughs> Either that or raise your children not to uh, defecate in public. It, it, well, it's, it's, they have, <laughs> they're having a spike, no pun intended, <laughs> in, in homelessness and drug users. Okay. So, Mm. Yeah, is is this where the, I I was re- recently reading? There's a typhus outbreak. Is this where it's at? No, that's Southern California. <laughs> <laughs> California, what's going on, man? It's like 13th century Europe down there. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, no, wait, the plague is, is next, man. Uh, San Francisco is where they've actually had to create a department to go and clean this up. It is so bad. Wow, I just. <laughs> Why not put porta potties out there? Have somebody donate porta potties. You know that takes brains. You know, what? <laughs> what? You tell me. You tell me. As uh, some large company, call it Walmart, would not donate that to the city to be. You know, donate the service like for porta potties to go out there and do it. And and you know, you it, 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 a community based project. You know? Um. In in all honesty, I I could see a company wanting to do that. Yeah. However, in San Francisco, I could see the city council saying no. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I, and I know why. You can't be generous anymore. I forgot they made it so that you can't give you know homeless people food. You can't give them all kinds of stuff. So yeah, that's in California. You do it to yourself. Yeah, you can't give your employees food either. Yeah, and that would be the thing. Be like, you can't put porta potties there. Because that's unsanitary. Hmm, let's see. <laughs> Crap in the streets or a porta potty. Boo. I mean, seriously. So, wow. So going back to the sports, Dave says, no. but for the mercy rule, you walk across the field and shake hands and part with good sportsmanship. That That is yes, part of it. Obviously. Um, yeah. Gina says they did give them a chance by putting in the JV yeah, junior no varsity. <laughs> and those guys got to play. I bet they were so excited. <laughs> and Dave says, uh, Domino's already fills potholes. Why would a company not do that? Yeah, well, yeah, and like she said, I think I think California would actually say no because it's no. unsanitary or something. Uh, yeah, I, I, I honestly think the San Francisco City Council would... would yeah. They'd be like, you, you can't do that. That's government's job. I'd be like, well, why aren't you doing it then, dummy? <laughs> <laughs> they are. They are, though. They, they put together... A specific department for this. What have they done? Are there porta potties on the streets? No, they and they're still having going. a fecal crisis. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fiscal; it's fecal, <laughs> which is going to drive a fiscal crisis because no one's going to want to live there because your city smells like crap. They're already in a fiscal crisis, but um, and that, no, these people walk throughout the city picking this stuff up. <laughs> Oh, man. I just can't. I just... <laughs> Their solution to everything is obviously the government. It, yes. It, but... It's San Francisco. Yes. Could you imagine? I mean, I'm just saying. You got porta potties. It's got whatever company's logo on it saying, we love our city. So they're happy. You're happy. But they got regulated out of existence because it's better to steal other people's money. Texas, and use that to have some idiot walk around picking up turds. I mean, what? <laughs> you guys are so smart. Keep going, man. I'm telling you, 13th century medieval Europe is coming for you. You got typhus outbreaks. You got all kinds of other stuff. We're going to have to put a wall up between us and California to keep the diseases out because you guys are so stupid. And yes, idiocy is contagious. I've seen it happen. Don't let it happen to you. Get out while you can, but stay away from here. <laughs> Pretty much. Or or just keep your mouth shut and let, let the locals deal with it. I just, I mean, come on. Why would you not do that? You could give an opportunity for all kinds of stuff to be the building in the... California Stan. <laughs> it will be your downfall. This is this is what one of and and when this phrase came out, I don't think they envisioned stuff like this happening. But well, that's the this, problem. We should have seen it coming. The, this is the poster for the land of fruits and nuts. 
The land of fruits and nuts. Yeah, I guess that would work. <laughs> <laughs> Especially in San Francisco. <laughs> yeah. Um, and Gina says, I hate picking up dog poo, human poo, no way. I don't know. And there's a lot more diseases in that. <laughs> That's some seriously bad doo-doo. <laughs> yeah, I'm not kidding. And, and Renee's saying Facebook isn't working. She's going over to YouTube. <laughs> Sorry, but Renee, it's still, sorry. Yeah, it's still running on mine. Okay, maybe it was your app. I don't know. Facebook's been having all kinds of issues. It, it has. Um, maybe Facebook's just choppy. I don't know. It's Either just way. annoying. Either way. But yeah, I had to uh, uh, just... I mean, there's so many things that you could do yeah. with this that could be a good thing, and they don't. They squander it. But I guess that's what California does. Mm. Which is why we call it California Stan. Mm, pretty much, but that's a whole nother episode. Turdy Mons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. So go ahead and close this. Oh. We're going to go to my uh, second from the bottom. Oh, you have a, Oh, you do have a second from uh, the it's bottom? It's not a link, though. Oh, what is it? This one? Keep scrolling. Holy monkey woman. There what? we go. This one? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this one's a good one. All right, I'll give you that. No, I gotta get it ready. Hold on. Uh, no, no, no. I oh. figured we'd just read it. Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to pull it up. No, because you're gonna have to scroll. It's in three pieces. Oh, jeez. <laughs> All right. So you want me to read this thing? Is what you're saying? If you want, I can. Well, well, what else? well go for it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and read it. All right. <clears throat> this is another uh, one of those uh, Mama Lois things that this, she sent. Yes, <laughs> yes Mama Lois. Uh, she she gets uh, newspapers. She takes pictures of them and then sends them to you, which is probably against copyright law or something like that. Mm, anyway. <laughs> she actually gets newspapers. She takes pictures of things that she thinks is funny and then sends them to us, yes. which is hilarious. So this is a real thing right now. So gecko. You know, everybody knows what a gecko is, right? mm -hmm, Yeah. Like the gecko gecko? Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so gecko butt dials bazillion times from... Seal hospital. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> a gecko butt dials a bazillion times from a seal hospital. <laughs> so, should, should we just talk about this or you have me actually no, read it? No, go ahead and read it because the All article right. is actually really funny. All right. So, this is from Honolulu from the Associated Press. Yeah? If you got incessant phone calls last week from a hospital that cares for Hawaiian monk seals, you were butt dialed by a gecko. Marine mammal veterinarian Claire Simeon was at lunch when she got a call from Kikai Ola, the big island hospital where she's director. There was silence on the other end. Nine more silent calls followed. Fearing a seal emergency, she rushed back. She wasn't the only one getting calls, and people... Uh, whoa. Okay. And people started asking why the hospital was calling non-stop. Trying to figure out why a bazillion, once again this is in quotations, calls were made from one line. She called the phone company and a rep tried to talk her through finding a possible line on the fritz. She walked into the lab and found the culprit. The gecko was perched on a phone, making calls to everyone in the recent call history with, and this is in all capitals in quotations, his tiny gecko feet, she wrote in a Twitter thread the next day, detailing the saga. Social media delighted in the tale, and some people offered jokes about a certain company's gecko calling to save money on your car insurance. <laughs> After discovering the mystery caller, Samoan caught the gecko and put it outside on a plant, she said Tuesday. If there's a little gecko that helps us share the story of conservation, then that's a win, she said, of the work she does caring for the endangered seals. I think people needed a little pick-me-up with this news cycle. <laughs> well, good on you. <laughs> Is amazing. It is. It little is. Little tiny gecko dialing. <laughs> <laughs> There's little toes. You know, they got the cute toes. Now, my question is, is, um, uh, are they using a cell phone for their main phone line? Apparently so. And, Would be and my the guess. touchpad? Yeah, it, it, it had just, to be. Because geckos' toes work on those things. They so. do. <laughs> I could just see that. Just watch any Gecko commercial. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, Dave I, says the Geico is real. I'm <laughs> switching insurance today. I know. If you don't, if you don't, uh, it's going to be ugly. I, I for <laughs> one, support and hail our new uh, Gecko overlords. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, a, a gecko, not really butt-dialed, but toe-dialed. <laughs> Either way, it's hilarious. I wonder if he was actually in there going, <laughs> <laughs> And the funny thing is, is, is apparently whatever he was doing, he liked it because it kept going. I know what it was, man. You know, you know when you have your phone on silent and it still vibrates? Oh. He probably liked it because it tickled his toes. <laughs> So he did hit the button and go, <laughs> and he go, <laughs> oh, and Diana says the gecko is trying to seal the deal. Yeah. <laughs> Switch to gecko. Save a few bucks, man. That's oh, it. my I'm goodness. You what, that should be their official mascot. I know. Oh, wait, it is. Uh, yeah. But they should actually go rescue him because apparently he knows how to dial phones. Uh, apparently. A lot. <laughs> To the Who point where trainer Gecko. I know, right? I mean, he obviously knows how to dial a lot, considering she thought there was an emergency. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and Renee's <laughs> over here on YouTube. Oh, Renee's laughing. now on YouTube. Hi, Renee. <laughs> on YouTube side. Oh my goodness. Hey, you guys on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and click on that bell thing so you get notified when we go live. For you guys on Facebook, thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing on all of these posts. And help us destroy the evil Zuckerberg. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and it will appear in the shirt. <laughs> Show your loyalty. What? Just giggling at me. Yeah, well, I always giggle at you. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. That's about all we have time for today. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you for doing all of the stuff I just said. <laughs> We do appreciate oh it. Goodness. You guys are awesome. Make sure you have an oh. epic Monday, and we will catch you on the next one. Yes, most definitely. Oh, man, oh. I tell you, it's it, it's Monday. It is, it is. Monday, <laughs> Monday. All right, who's ready for some Rupert? I am. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Bye.